Hello, people, social and webs. My name is Natalie, and welcome back to my channel. Don't judge the tan line. It's summertime, and there's something in my eyeball, but it's summer. I just finished my freshman year of college. I'm so sad and happy at the same time. Like, um, you know, it's just insane to believe that I've already done with my first year college next year i'll be living in little house apartment little thingy so you'll definitely see me move into that and buy all the stuff for that but this video it's not about that this is about looking back into the past looking back at my like me a month ago basically in the dorms and i'm gonna be sharing with you guys the top things you need for the dorms and the top things you do not need for the dorms it's a lot of things that i overpacked never used um at all and there's a lot of things that like you absolutely need so i split up my like things you need category into my computer is right here i split it up into top tier like do not even like walk into your dorm room do not even check into your dorm room to like move all your crap in until you have these like seven things um and then i have mid-tier things that are like really nice to have um in my opinion and then i have like bottom tier like if you have the room and um space for it like definitely bring it but it's like not essential um or it's like wait till you get into the dorm and like see how much space you have to like look into these things and then the do not need is just like things you don't need like some of them like you could probably justify needing for whatever reason but like most of it is like generic if you live in like standard dorm like communal bathroom like no kitchen like dining hall plan thing like things you do not need so I think we should just get on to it. We are starting with the top tier. Do not forget these items or you will have a very bad experience. Or just like my top tier, like use almost every single day things. So the first one is what we're calling the shower holy trinity, holy trio, shower caddy. You need one of these, you put all your shampoo, conditioner, soap, razor, shaving cream, scrub, everything in this little caddy thing i had a mesh one mesh in my opinion is better you can wash it um everyone's always like it gets moldy it doesn't like mine didn't get moldy and i don't think i washed mine not even like one time i would always say i would but i didn't um and there's nowhere to put the plastic ones like we had like a hook she like walk in like a bathroom stall essentially and there was a shower curtain so you like lock the stall there's a hook and you put like your towel and your little shower caddy on there and there's like a shelf in the shower that's literally like this big like i'm not even joking like that wide too and that's where you put like your things that you actually want in the shower and like i wouldn't even be able to fit all my stuff like i'll just put my shampoo conditioner soap and then i would grab my razor and my scrub from my shower caddy i don't know where you would put the plastic ones then shower shoes pretty simple i had just like adidas slides you can just get like super cheap flip flops you want shower shoes you do not want foot fungus if you want foot fungus get no shower shoes but if you don't want it get shower shoes and then the last one is a sh towel wrap like get a normal like whatever you want for your hair like a t-shirt a regular towel a towel like a hair specific wrap i don't care for your body towel you want the wrap it velcros here your hands free you don't have to worry about it falling sliding whatever it's attached to you next you want a laundry thing and if you're like me when you're on the top floor and laundry is in the basement and you have to walk down four flights of stairs you want the laundry backpack i got mine at target for like ten dollars you put this thing on your back and it has a little pocket on the outside for your tie pods and your like dryer sheets and stuff like that put this thing on your back and you like cinch it shut you shove it as full as you can and you walk your butt down to the laundry room now we're going to go over the bed situation you will most likely have a twin xl it's basically the same like size as a twin bed it's just longer for the tall people i'm not a very tall person but you want to make sure you get everything in twin xl because a normal twin size sheet will not fit you want a mattress topper that's twin xl size and you want a mattress pad twin xl size the mattress topper is the foam thing i'm pretty sure it's the foam thing you put that thing underneath the mattress pad which is basically a giant sheet that you put over because you want as much like that mattress comes with the dorm you do not want like people like 20 million people have always slept on that mattress you want your head and your body to be as far away and as like you want the mattress to be as covered as possible you don't want to touch that thing 
Next is something that's probably really basic, but like you need it is a laptop. Like if you like a gamer person coding the lot and you want a desktop computer, that's fine. I don't think you need it, but if you like, if you use it like every day at home and like want to bring it, be my guest. You need a laptop for class, like or an iPad with a keyboard. Plastic drawers to go under your bed. I got mine from Target, big one that was like this big probably. Yeah, and I had three drawers, I think it was like 30, 40 bucks. And then I had a skinny one that was four drawers where I put all like my plates, bowls, blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about that in a second, like plates and bowls. But get one or both for under your bed. Then the last thing is like really basic, but you want those like power strip things. I had one long skinny one that I zip tied to the side of my bed to plug in my phone and computer and like be plugged in the refrigerator there or like the mini fridge. Um, there, which was really nice, and then I had one like square one on under my desk. Now we've got the middle tier. I'm gonna try and rapid fire. Sorry, the other ones had some explanation. These are things like you should bring, like I would highly recommend, but like you need to get the other stuff first, and then you can get these. I'm sitting here editing this like a week later, and um, the whole like middle tier clips are like the audio is really weird, and the lighting is horrible, and it's like blurry. So I'm gonna quickly go through these items. Sorry, this clip is like different than the rest of the video. But for the mid tier, we have a pair of shoes you don't care about for like frat shoes or just to wear like out if it's raining, whatever. Like it doesn't matter if they get dirty. A storage ottoman. I use mine to get up on my bed and it could store things. A desk hutch. My room came with one, but it would be really like um useful if you didn't have one to buy one, obviously. Um, slippers. I like these to like go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day and they're just cozy. A mirror. If your room doesn't come with one, I would wait to get that to see if your room does come with one because mine did. Plastic storage bins, like all different sizes. Put like your cleaning stuff in, your like winter or summer clothes, just like anything and you put them under your bed. A mini fridge if your room does not come with one and a microwave if your room doesn't come with one. First aid kit, you'll get sick all the time. It's just really nice to have those things and you need like band-aids and things like that. A desk lamp, if your room does not come with one. I also, mine did and I just wanted like my own. Um, desk mirror, um, like a little like mirror to put on your desk to like do your makeup and hair and stuff with. And then the Ikea cart, the infamous Ikea cart that, like everyone has. I use mine as like a nightstand and I put my first aid things and my cleaning stuff in it. Now bottom tier, if you have the space and money for it, get it. If not, it's not like the end of the world or you should wait till like you see your space and see if you have like the space for it. So one, I would highly recommend getting like one nice winter jacket if you go somewhere where it snows and then one pair of like nice snow boots. I have a pair of Sorrells and I love them. Um, then get a Keurig um, if you have the space. I like a little cute pink one and I didn't use it as often as I thought. I would, but I used it a lot when I was sick to have hot water and make tea really easily. Um, and I honestly just like didn't have anywhere to go get like coffee creamer from. Um, but otherwise I would have made coffee in my room a lot. I just never had like creamer or milk in my room because we didn't really have the space in our fridge for it. Then a Brita. We had a water bottle refill station in the hallway, so I didn't need one, but I could see why you would need one. My roommate had one. I thought it was really pointless and it pretty much took up the whole freaking refrigerator. Get the ones that fit in the door because then it doesn't take up the whole refrigerator. <laughs> a humidifier. Um, if you're going somewhere where like if you're used to it being humid, like my roommate had one. My roommate had like because she's from Chicago. So it's like really humid there and then she went somewhere and it was really dry. For me, like I was already used to the dry heat, the dry energy, the dry air. Uh, I didn't need a humidifier. And then like your wall decor. Oh my gosh, wall decor, like I'd wait to see what your room looks like before you get it. And now for the do not brings. I'm honestly not gonna say that much stuff, but like these are the things like you probably you might think are necessary, but like you never will use in like the traditional dorm settings. Like pots, pans, plates, bowls, silverware, cups, um spatulas knives cutting boards any kitchen thing you will not use it i would say bring like one knife in a cutting board because i would cut up like apples or fruit or like whatever in my room um it was just like nice to have that stuff bring like a couple water bottles a printer like i could see why it might be nice to have one in your room maybe like a couple years ago a printer like would have been like pretty necessary i never once had to print something out 
and then like my dorm had a printer downstairs you can just go and it was like 10 cents a page or something um to print it like next year i have a printer for the house only because we had an extra one in my house so i'm bringing it to the, like my apartment um because sometimes i think it would be nice to like print out my notes or like worksheets to like work them out like by hand but i honestly didn't feel it like necessary for my freshman year and i wouldn't like buy a printer like i'm only bringing one because like next year because i like have an extra i want to make a whole video like revolving clothes don't bring like a bunch of t-shirts your school give them to you if you're rushing your frat sorority or club give it to you like you don't need a million t-shirts this is probably pretty big but don't bring like a million decorations like that's why i would wait to see like what your room looks like when you get in there see how much space you have like whatever say as like a general rule like don't bring too much makeup like what you use at home is probably what you're gonna bring like maybe bring a couple fun colors or like bring like if you don't wear air eyeliner every day like still bring one if you wear it every once in a while because like you probably use it at some point and that's it for this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon so this video was like a lot of talking peace out